Welcome everybody to the news with Obi. Um, this weekend, a lot of attorneys, and including the ACLU, have been working pretty much pro bono to challenge detention of refugees and some visitors entering into the United States. And a lot of confusion came about when there wasn't uh, the authorities really didn't give us a lot of information, didn't give attorneys a lot of information, especially with people who have green cards and what they should do on their way in. So today, to help um, give us a few pointers, I have an immigration attorney. He's also an international trade attorney and the president of the Nigerian American Lawyers Association, Isaac Falusi of TF Partners. Thank you so much for being on the show so very last minute to give us some insights about what's been going on this past weekend. Ms. Obi, thank you for having me. So we're going to make this really quick and straight to the point because I know a lot of people need this information. So my first question is, President Trump's order, uh, tr President Trump's order bans refugees from seven countries from entering the U.S. However, like I said earlier in the introduction, the confusion really came about when it came when it comes to green card holders. What should people entering the country under these conditions? What should they know? What do they need to know? All right. Um, as we all know, uh, the executive order is uh, titled "Protecting the Nation from Foreign Terrorist Entry into the United States," and. To basically uh, zoom in into your question regarding green card holder, um, I am going to try and break languages into two so we all kind of put it in the context. Okay. Um, from these seven countries, which are Syria, Iraq, Iran, Yemen, Somalia, Libya, and Sudan, yes, green card holders are included. I say that because if you go to section section 1C of the executive order, it reads, I hereby proclaim that the immigrant and non-immigrant entry into the United States of aliens from countries referred to in section 217A12. Those countries are those seven countries. So if you read that line, it says, I hereby proclaim that immigrant and non-immigrant, right? Okay. Uh, um, people usually use those things to, uh, those two words fungibly, interchangeably. However, the legal meaning of immigrant is if you have a green card. Okay. Non-immigrant is if you have something less than green card. Okay. Immigrants are people that are here to stay permanently. That's what that means. That's what a green card is. Or people that were given visa, it's called immigrant visa, in their respective country coming here to stay permanently. They have an immigrant visa. Non-immigrant visa are people that are just going to be in the country temporarily as a visitor, as a student, as a worker, as a... Uh, as, um, as, uh, but those people right now, are they in danger of losing their status? Um, okay, it isn't losing status. Okay. And also, the order is not a ban. They've been using that you know, uh, overtly. It's not a ban. Uh, the order basically is to allow uh, um, certain period of time. Like 120 days for some countries and 90 days for some? Exactly. Okay. And, you know, and of course, one of the reasons why the word ban may be uh, inferred from the language of this executive order is uh, it doesn't say that after 120 days, the status quo will come back. It doesn't say that. It, it basically, after 90 days, you will need to receive some report from the Secretary of State, from the Department of Homeland Security, before you can now uh, um, uh, revisit the topic again. 
so because of that it, it, it is uh um it basically it is not clear right it, right, it's basically, right it is big it's basically vague it's not clear if after one twenty days everything will go back to normal that's not what it's saying here but you will have 120 days some countries and some country will have 90 days okay so uh, can you help clarify this there was news going around that federal judges have been lifting the ban is there any truth to that am i phrasing the question wrong okay um it's also a a, a wrong phrasing of the question okay um uh, it is not lifting the ban it is the executive order is being challenged in court, right? Okay. What some judges are doing is to say everything remains the same until we go through this law and figure it out. Okay. Um, go through this action and figure it out. Okay. So they, first of all, there is no ban. And second, they're not lifting any ban. Third, they're just saying that, look, you are not going to put this executive order into action until we go through, you know, until we go to court, until we make sure it's within the United States Constitution and that the, and that the president has the power to do what he's saying that he wants to do. But in the meantime, at these different airports, they are carrying on as if they, you know, they're carrying on with whatever the executive order says, detaining people. Uh, well, the, uh, the problem about that, this is basically an inept uh, uh, executive executive order from the White House, basically because DHS were not aware of this order, right? As, until the last minute. Wow. So basically, so when the order came out, they didn't know what was going on. They have to wait for directive from the top. Uh, from the top. So most likely, they are feeling like, well, we just need to hold on from these seven countries. Just hold these people. We don't know what's going on yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that is that action. And unfortunately, that is the nonsense that this order has thrown everybody into because it personally, I don't think it was well thought out in the first right. place. Right, right. Um, but and, now I heard the White House is now saying that the executive order was not, um, um, uh, 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 well, you said the word what is not banned, but they're saying you're not supposed, they, we're not trying to stop Muslims from coming in. But then again, the executive order wasn't a phrase that way because when you stop Muslim, it means that you're kind of like stopping the whole religion. Um, it didn't use the the executive order to be fair to the White House. It didn't use the word Muslim. Uh, however, I will understand people that are interpreting it that way. If you are stopping people from a predominantly Muslim Islam, Islam Islamic country, Islamic, Islamic country, and then among among those people, you are exempting people that belong to a minority religion, like Christian or Yazidi or whatever. Um, in a way, that is a that is a backdoor way of banning Muslims. Muslims, right? Uh, you know, you could make the uh, on its face, you could make the claim that no, I'm not banning Muslims, but you know, the the effect of the executive order itself is banning Muslim. That may not be your intent. Right. But the effect, uh, the impact of impact it is, is showing that. that. that now, the, the, the uh, Democrats are ordering a meeting with the DHS. What, in your opinion, do you hope that Democrats are trying to accomplish with this meeting? Oh, I, I think that they are, at this point, they're trying to flesh out what it means. Um, uh, what exactly? Actually, I, I've I've read the executive order myself. It's poorly put together. Uh, uh, did a, uh, and then when it comes to immigration, immigration is in the uh, scope of the Congress. Congress owns immigration. Right. <laughs> you know, that that's their thing. Right. It, 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 you know, it's congressional. Um, but also ba based on a 1965 law, the right to due process. Um, is this something that can potentially um, uh, fight you to challenge this ban? I know the ACLU is doing a lot. A lot of lawyers like yourself have been really helping people and, you know, working pro bono. Do you think this law is something that the White House can, they can't override that, can they? Um, they cannot override it. Um, I, do, I do not personally think it will survive 
uh, the legal battle in court. Oh, you don't think so? I do not think so because if you said an immigrant, the word immigrant is placed in here. I'm looking at it. So immigrant is someone that was already vetted. It took tremendous amount of process mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, to, for someone to become an immigrant. Yeah. And when you become an immigrant, you have certain right under the constitution. Those rights cannot just be withdrawn from you willy-nilly by executive order. You have to go to court. That is why if when your green card is about to be stripped from you, you have to have hearing in okay. the Department of Justice Immigration Court telling them that you cannot strip this away from me. You have right in the country already. Right. So, so as it stands right now, I think the White House came up with a statement today um, that um, green, card, green, green card holders are uh, kind of exempt from this at this point. Is that correct? Have you heard that yet? I have heard something to that fact. Um, uh, I have heard something to that fact, but I will say that that language need to be fleshed out from the, it needs to be corrected inside the order itself. It, it specifically uses the word immigrant and non-immigrant. Whenever you're using those two words, immigrant and non-immigrant, it includes means, green card holders. Exactly. It means oh. that you know what you're saying. If you okay. just use the word immigrant, okay, maybe maybe you are kind of uh, um, using immigrant to represent non-immigrant. But if when you separate them like that, it means only one thing. It okay. means immigrant, those are green card holders. So, so with that being, okay, so... With that being said, everybody that falls under the conditions of green card immigrants, whatever it is that the executive order includes, if someone is detained with at the airport and they fall into those categories, what should they really do? Okay. If you are an immigrant, you have a right in the United States. Uh, coming back into the country, if you have not committed any law, Oh, sorry. Any crime. If any crime. If you've not committed any crime uh, uh, that will invalidate your green, uh, your green card, if you've not done all those things, or you have to tell them, uh, the immigration agent is, I'm a green card holder. I have not done anything wrong. Uh, I have right in the United States. And then you have your time to have a phone call. Okay. If, even if you have committed a crime, right? Even if you committed a crime, the only thing they can do is detain you, but they will still need you to have hearing. Okay. That is the purpose. That is the difference between a non-immigrant and an immigrant. Non-immigrant, they could return you back to wherever you're coming from. Right. Exactly. But as an immigrant, they do not have that right to, uh, uh, to return you uh, immediately. Unfortunately, the, the, uh, the detention, um, uh, at this point, it is what it is. This is uh, this is the chaos that um, the White House has created in a way. In a way, <laughs> and, 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 you know, to, to be fair to them, I, I, you know, if anyone is listening to this, I urge the president to kind of like read this executive order over and over again before signing it. I mean, how could, if you're gonna make an order, read it before signing it. It's, yeah. To me, I find it hard, if you're not a genius, or even if you're a genius, I find it hard for you to have signed an order on the very first or second day you get into the office. This thing takes tremendous amount of time yeah. to make sure whatever uh, whatever has been written yeah. is within the scope of your power and also the scope of the law, of United States Constitution and congressional statutes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Something paused. Sorry, that's me. I'm going to decline the call. Go ahead. Oh, okay. All right, I'm back with you. All right. So, okay, so um, is it safe to say that people with green cards do not go anywhere? <laughs> you know, it, don't leave the country, at least till all of this is fleshed out. I, I won't say that. I mean, if you are from green card from countries uh, not, that are not on the list, that are not on the list, you're fine. You're okay. And even if you are a green card holder from those countries that are on the list, um, if you travel, you just need to expect some sort of delay. Yeah. They, you will eventually be passed through. Right now, because of the stay from court against the uh, um, implementation of this order, 
you can go in and out. Nobody's gonna stop you at this point because um, uh, 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 there is a there is a court hearing pending on, on this matter to basically ensure it's following the law is the right mm -hmm. thing to do. It is constitutional before you can implement it. So yeah. right now everything goes back to what it was three days ago, not uh, you know, uh, well four days ago. When was this whole thing started? Um, this past weekend, so Friday ish. Exactly. Yeah. Everything went back to the way it was last week. Let's just say that. Yeah. So that those school is there. So I personally don't think it is an issue um, for you not to travel. I think you can travel, but just expect maybe a, a, a few a, delays. And exactly. A few delays here and there, uh, a secondary vetting or whatever they want to call it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Falusi, for um, being on the show. I know this was so last minute, but because this is a, a trending topic right now, and I, I foresee this going on for a little while. So I figured I'd get you on the show so that you can inform some of our viewers. And if somebody needs to reach you, because I, I, I know your phone is probably ringing off the hook at this point. If someone needs to call, reach social media, please tell us how to find you. All right, please uh, reach us at 301-585-3314 or 410-905-3054. You can also reach us at tfplaw.com, www.tfplaw.com. And uh, just one thing um, that I uh, just wanted to point out. Okay. Um, uh, um, basically... You know, there is also the people that have been issued visa mm -hmm. uh, uh, with this, you know, um, uh, there are the, the refugees. I don't think that uh, right now there is already a vetting process for you. It's called United States Refugee, uh, uh, Refugee Act Program, um, uh, uh, Refugee Admission Program. Okay. Uh, right now there is... Uh, it, usually, uh, refugees are basically people seeking asylum, right, right? Uh, from persecution. And um, and to me, the vetting process, because we do this, the vetting process is already a year, or actually not even a year anymore. I always say two years, three years, four years. So to think that uh, this... So the thing. vetting process for refugees before they can enter the U.S.? Exactly. Is it already three years? It's already that long, yes. Oh. Sir. Exactly. So, so the refugees that are coming, they've been vetted? They've been vetted already. It's not like... It's like so that is what I'm kind of like, okay, what is the White House doing? These things, they've already been vetted. It is, it is very, I mean, very thorough process, immigration process that is in place right now against so refugees. these refugees have a right to be here i mean oh, not well, like they didn't but they've yeah. gone through the rigmarole of getting here exactly they now detain them at the airport or try to send them back is wrong uh, uh, yes it's basically you know us going against our own word yeah yeah uh, that after you've uh, given because you know when you've given that they've packed their load they don't want to come back because if they go back they feel that they're going to die yeah yeah they, so they pack their load. So basically, they are in limbo, and I think it's completely unnecessary because, uh, again, uh, unless we've had any news that I've said, many people that came through refugees have have bombed us before because the purpose of this it is a wrongly to keep America safe. Exactly, that purpose is not being met by the by by the content of the executive order. I don't see it. That you know, the purpose is not being achieved. At all. I understand the purpose that I gave the president credit for that because, you know, we live in a dangerous world, but this is a complete wrong medicine. Yeah. Wrong so, approach. A wrong approach and, and uh, a wrongly understood issue, yeah. you know, you know, so. Um, yeah. Uh, well, th thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, uh, we're going to put your information up, and if we need to contact you again to give us some insight about what's going on, please, I hope you'll be able to come on the show again. Of course, Obi. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you.